Did you know that you are the character that I feel I relate to the most? No way. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You're the older on yes, the show. Yes, yes. And that's just like me and my, okay. and you feel that you have to try to keep everything together. Totally. So, totally. um, what, will we be seeing more of that in season five? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think, I think one of my favorite things about season five is, you know, Brandon's been going through some, some stuff with, with Juilliard and kind of a lot of letdowns, um, right now. So I think what's cool about season five is it, Brandon's kind of picking up the pieces and, mm -hmm. and he's kind of, um, Focusing on himself and, and and figuring out where he should go in life. So for season five, for season five, good. Cause yeah. I'm sorry, it, he needs to just worry about <laughs> himself sometimes. Exactly. Like if you're what you watching, you're yeah. like, oh my god, come on, just. I know. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. He's, he he cares. He cares too much. You know? Yeah. It, you, yeah. You know he what I'm does. He cares too much, but uh. Yeah. It's uh. It's good, no, you know, and it's it is. It's total, you know, oldest eldest sibling uh, syndrome. That yes, he's got, basically, you know? yeah. Uh, and he and he, he he does. He worries a lot about his siblings. He worries a lot about his mother. His mother. Right. He worries about his father. You know. Right. So there's a lot. Um, there's a lot on his plate. I think at all times. What about the relationship between Brandon and AJ? Yeah. Y'all didn't sure. really show into it yeah. on season four, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. will that even grow a little bit um, in season five? Definitely, it's going to grow. And, you know, um, uh, I think what's interesting about about the whole sort of adoption thing with a AJ and Mike uh, is is Brandon has grown up in a house where adoption was so so normal, you know, mm -hmm. and, and and so he grew up with that idea. Um, and so who is he to say no to that? You know, if, if his dad wants to adopt AJ, give him a home. Yeah. Um, Brandon sort of just by default has to be okay with that. Um, and he is. And, and we'll see that, that relationship developing a little more. I, 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 like, I like the relationship. I find it really interesting. And uh, I love Tom Williamson who plays AJ. We have a really good relationship mm -hmm. too. And, uh, so it's fun to work with him, and and yeah, you'll 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 definitely see uh, their relationship developing. You'll see them interacting a little more, and possibly even uh, uh, working together to get some stuff done. So yeah, yeah. Now, if this was your real life, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. I don't have a home. Yeah. Would you invite me for dinner, just knowing that your parent? are so willing to try to take everyone in. I, I, I think so. I mean, if really? I, if I, uh, if I'm I... I'm sorry, you're not coming over. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you're no. not coming no, over. No, just in on. general, of course, I invite <laughs> no. you over. Yeah. But no, I mean, in general, I mean, yeah. it, you know, I mean, also, it doesn't help, it doesn't hurt to, to have a house like the Fosters has. Yeah, uh, absolutely, you know, this yeah. beautiful, this beautiful, um, gracious home. But no, I, I think, uh, I think that's something that I've actually learned from this show, from being on this show, is, the, you know, what is, what is a family? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what does that mean? What does that entail? It could really be anything. You know, it could be anything under the sun as long as it's um, intimate and genuine and full of love. And that's what I love about uh, being on this show. You know, it's got a little bit more to say than, uh, than a lot of shows that are, you know, maybe teen type shows. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, grateful and honored to be a part of, of something like this that, that has so much to say. You, know? you truthfully feel the heart of the show. Like, uh, the piano mm -hmm. lesson, the, uh, is that really you playing? Or? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I do play piano in real life, but um, I, uh, I wish I was as good as Brandon sometimes. A lot of the classical piano stuff, we kind of, we, uh, we, we introduced some Hollywood magic a little bit. Yeah. But um, I do play, I've been playing for about six, or, no, seven years now. Oh, nice. Um, so, and I appreciate you for, uh, for telling us that yeah, too. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. You know, it's, all, it's, all, it's all for the show. But when I do play, I, I, um, I'm very adamant about knowing every piece as well as I can. I think it helps with the, um, you know, authenticity of it. And, You're right, yeah. Um, and uh, as, a, as a musician, I, I do want it to be as accurate as possible in terms of the portrayal. Do sometimes you, just being the actor and not being the writer, do sometimes you get upset with the writer? Like, why would they do this? Like, or <laughs> I, 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 like, I always take the approach that, it's, I, I, I'm but a part of this story to tell, you know, and mm -hmm. it's not, um, it's not, it's not my, it's not just my story. Yeah. And uh, I'm just like a cog in the machine, you know. So, uh, 
No, I don't get mad. You know, sometimes sometimes it does feel like a curveball. Sure, that happens, but but you roll with it and and, and yeah. And before you know it, it actually ends up in retrospect. It makes sense. It, makes sense. it, it yeah. does. It, it always it ends up making does. sense. And, yeah. And so that that's kind of something I've learned being on this show now for almost five years, going on five years. Um, I've learned to kind of roll with the punches and just and and just see how it all unfolds. You know. What would you like to see happen? Although I have a feeling you probably already know uh, <laughs> the the whole situation with Brandon and Kylie. Um, yeah, you know, that's another example of something that I've learned to just let it go, like let it let it be, like like however that unfolds <laughs> is how it's going to unfold. But uh, I I think I think they're always going to have a special bond. I think they're always going to have a connection. I think mm -hmm. they're always going to mean something to each other that's a little more than than friends maybe yeah but uh at the same time they're very much in their own uh world right now they're all they're they're on their own path right now and and, and you see them intersect every now and then but um i like that too because it's 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 true to life you know yeah now during your hiatus do you nice. like to branch out and do other characters and uh, play different in, in different television shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's the the schedule kind of sometimes is a little wonky in terms of uh, conflicts and whatnot. So I, I'm I'm not necessarily doing as much as I'd like to be doing. But yeah, you know, it's 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 the grind. But I mean, this show alone is just. I mean, yeah. How much of it do you take home with you? Um, I mean, I, I I parallel Brandon pretty pretty closely. So there's a lot of things that I think we just share in common, honestly. Um, yeah. So I, I feel like he's, he, in a way, he's always with me, and, and he's a, he, he'll always be an important character to me. I love it. Well, thank <laughs> you so much. It was thank great you. interview. Nice to meet you.